guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Chase woke up with the itch to paint and I did too. So we're going to be working on some home projects in today's video. I also have to get some cleaning done. So if you're needing like home improvement motivation or cleaning motivation, today is the video for you. So if you're new here, please subscribe. Now let's jump straight into today's video. Okay, please don't judge this back patio. We have so many plans going on for this right now, but the very first thing we're gonna do is paint this ceiling blue. We also need to power wash the patio, but that's gonna be another day because we are gonna be extending the patio out and gonna be redecorating it. So definitely be looking forward to that in an upcoming video. But here are all the supplies we're gonna need um, to be painting the ceiling blue. And I gave you an up close shot right here. So if you're wondering what the color is, go ahead and screenshot it so if you need to reference it later but that is the one we chose um, obviously we're gonna start off just by taking everything off the patio because we don't want to get blue paint on it so Chase and I are just gonna pull everything off Once you take everything off, go ahead and start your taping. I know this is like the most dreaded part of painting, but I promise you um, it's going to look so much more professional and well done if you take the time to tape it really well. So do not leave out this step. Okay, another project we've kind of been working on is like this wall right here. This wall is so hard for me. I've never figured out something that I'm like super happy with. Um, the TV does have to go on this wall. You guys always want me to put my sectional here. If I did, this door would not open. So the TV has to stay on this wall. Um, I looked into having this really cool like work done to the wall, but it was way too expensive or for me, I just can't justify it. So I never know what to do here. You can tell I've pulled items throughout the entire house. Else. I think I might try to spray paint this gold just to see if I like it. I actually like it better here So I'll probably flip that out, but I'm wanting to do something over here, but it's super hard One of the things that I kind of have a love-hate relationship with I don't mind not having an entry. My problem is, is I don't know what to do here. Um, most people at least have a little bit of gap here so they can put a bench or something, but we have no space. And I loved this for so long. I've had it up there about four years, but I'm kind of getting tired of it. So I don't know what to do over there since the door opens up all the way because we can't block it. So I'm gonna try just a little bit to make the space just a little bit better. Obviously I can't go shopping, so I'm just gonna shop my home and some spray paint that's out my garage. So let's work on this picture frame first. Okay, so this is how it's looking so far. Um, I like this green over here. I kind of like it over here better so when you walk in, you actually see it. It doesn't get blocked behind my door. But honestly, I have no idea what to put here other than a mirror and I can't go mirror shopping right now. And I'm not gonna order one because they cost way too much online. So I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna spray paint this gold. I'm deciding between this picture and this one right here, this one's a lot chunkier. I don't know if that's like more glam and I don't have enough spray paint to do both. <laughs> so um, I've got to decide which one, but we're going to be working on that next. I'm kind of liking this because when you walk in you see this picture frame and you still see the green and then over here's a family picture I don't like when there's a family picture here and here. It's just too busy for me for whatever reason 
So now I'm trying to decide, do I leave this silver or do I, I'm gonna spray paint it gold because I have more silver, so if I don't like it, I can just spray it back. But I think we're getting somewhere, but I'm gonna speed clean this living room real fast because it's driving me crazy. cannot decide if I want to spray paint that um, frame gold. So I'm gonna let it hang out for about an hour or so before I do it. So I'm gonna start on cleaning my kitchen, but I wanna thank Jaws for sponsoring today's video. It stands for Just Add Water System. So what's cool is they have the best non-toxic cleaners. I've been using these for so long and I love them. The scents are amazing, but they're not overwhelming. I get headaches super easy, but I love these products. But what happens is they ship you the empty bottle with pods and you mix it at home. So all you're gonna do is fill up water to the water line and then you drop in the pod and as you screw your top on, the product releases. It is super satisfying. My husband loves doing it, my daughter loves doing it. We kind of fight over doing the refills, but I absolutely love this company. It's pet friendly, it's eco-friendly because you get to keep reusing this bottle. You're not throwing it away every time you need more. You just get a new pod and fill it in and you can just just keep rebuying these from the website. So I'm super happy with this company. They're also the only company where I can find a disinfectant still. So if you're going into your stores and you can't find it and you're needing more, click on the link down below. I have a coupon code for 25% off. So I'll have all that information down below in my description box. When I tell you I love this product, I love them. I use them every single day in my home. So definitely click on that link down below and order you some disinfectant. Granite is my all time favorite. The smell is incredible. I go through this the most. I use this probably three times a day in my house. So they have all sorts of products, but definitely check them out. Okay, now I'm just gonna do a real quick speed clean of my kitchen and dining room area. If you missed my daily cleaning routine, you can definitely check that out. I posted it this last week, and I just like to do these many little speed cleans throughout the day just so I don't have a ton to do in the evening. So I'm gonna work on wiping off my cabinets, wiping off my island, and then wiping off my dining room table as well. Seeing my robo back go around my kitchen, I wanted to remind you guys that that giveaway is still open. So if you missed that daily cleaning routine, definitely head back and check out that video. And in the description box of that video is all the rules to enter for that exact same, obviously brand new, but robo back. So definitely go back and watch that video and get entered to win. Now we're gonna go back outside just to give you kind of an update of what's going on. So he's making progress. I thought it was gonna take about three layers of this paint since we were going over that dark brown, but it ended up only taking two. But here is how the first coat's going. So I forgot to show you what the kitchen looked like when I finished cleaning it. So here's a few shots. I just love to kind of reset my day um, midway through. So typically after lunch, I need to pick up the kitchen anyways from making lunch or heating up leftovers. So I just like this midday reset so my house can be clean just throughout the entire day. Okay, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and take this down and spray paint it. I think I'm always gonna wonder what it's gonna look like if not. And like I mentioned before, I have um, silver paint. I can re-spray paint it back if I don't like it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Also, I don't know how this picture will look when I spray paint it gold, but we had new pictures made with George, so I'll probably swap that out anyways. I've gotta get it ordered, but I think the coloring of those pictures will look better too in it, and George isn't in this one. 
Okay, so don't judge me here either. Yes, I have a duct tape on the back of my picture frame. I think it's so smart to find picture frames at like garage sales or Goodwills because they can be so pricey, especially if you're wanting like nice big sizes that have lots of detail to them. So sometimes they don't hold as well. So I definitely just take some duct tape, stick it on there. Nobody ever knows unless you're a YouTuber and you take it off your wall like me. But otherwise, if anybody comes in my house, they will never see that. Now I'm gonna take it outside. I like to either put it on a sheet or on something that kind of holds it up so I can get the edges. So I just grabbed these wood blocks from our garage and I'm gonna take what's left of the spray can and spray it all gold. Like I said, if I don't like this, I can just spray it back. I think people think paint is just so permanent and if you don't like it, you're just stuck with it. And yes, if you're going over wood, you're kind of stuck with paint from that point on. But if you don't like the color, all you have to do is go spend another $3, pick out another color and you can paint it again. And it really does not take long at all. I think the hardest part about starting home projects is just getting started. I wanted to show you how my guest bathroom was looking. Um, Savannah's kind of liking getting ready in the beauty room with me, which I knew would eventually happen. So I kind of turned this more into the guest bathroom again instead of hers. But I just added this wreath. It used to be above my bed. And then this plant and lamp. I don't know. I just feel like it looks really good and simple. I like the touches of farmhouse, but then I still have like glam knobs. Um, I need to get a rug for in here, but once again, I can't go shopping. So eventually one day I'll find something to go in there. Okay guys, I am super happy with how this turned out. I'm gonna put the old picture back in it so we can just see, but if you stay tuned, I ordered my print from Walgreens so I can pick it up in a couple hours, but let's go ahead and just see what it looks like with this picture in it. Okay guys, I actually love this. It's gonna be hard to get like the full image on the camera, but it matches my light up here. And then another thing that's not coming across, it goes with my handles right here on our dresser or our TV stand. Um, so I love it. I love that it's a little bit of glam. I try to do glam and farmhouse like all mixed in together, which is always a hard balance. And I felt like this side was very farmhousey. So I feel like that's glammed it up a little bit. Um, I do want to replace this with some like, I don't know if I just need to get like gold um, or like crystal knobs for this. I think I'm gonna replace it completely. I need to figure out something for that. I'm gonna be searching Amazon, but I don't love how these woods don't match. I don't know how I've let that slide for four years <laughs> or if it's all of a sudden bothering me, but I am super happy with the way the frame turned out. I had just enough spray paint, like I literally ran out, but it was just enough. But I am super happy with this because it's like tying in all the gold features in here. Okay, so this is how it looked after doing the first coat of paint. So you can still see we clearly need um, another layer, but it still covered it up really well. Sometimes it's just nicer to buy the nicer can of paint so you're not doing like three or four layers, especially on a project like this. It's kind of hard to paint upside down. So definitely just spend a little bit more money and make sure that um, it's just gonna cover really well. If you're doing something that's easy to paint, you can go cheaper, but on projects like this, I think it's well worth the money. 
Um, and then here it is with the second coat of paint. It turned out so well. Um, I'm super happy with it. So thank you to everybody that suggested it. So now we're gonna go ahead and take down the tape. If you see all of our white siding, we're definitely gonna have to repaint that. I think we were painting it at the end of last summer and it was super hot and we ran out of paint. So we just like gave in and quit. But we're gonna definitely go back and do one more layer because you can see right there, we have so many spots we need to touch up. Okay, and then my little tip for when you're taking down the paint is don't let it completely dry. Otherwise, sometimes you'll peel up that paint if you let it completely harden. So don't let it be like really, really wet, but after you get done painting, wait about five or 10 minutes, and then you can go ahead and start pulling it off, and then you will get that nice clean line or edge that you're wanting. Okay, now that the tape's off, we're gonna go ahead and put all this furniture back up here. This is actually furniture from my front porch, but we've been doing a lot of rearranging and we're about to be reworking this whole space. So like I said in the beginning of the video, do not judge this. This is not how it's gonna stay. Um, it'll all be in a future video and I'm so excited to do it and have it finished and complete. So definitely subscribe here if you're not because we have tons of just home projects going on right now and we would love to keep you motivated on all of your home projects. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start washing our paintbrushes. It will work best if you can wash them immediately after you're done painting. You're always gonna get them cleaner that way. If you don't have time or you're leaving to go somewhere, go ahead and stick them in like a cup with warm, like soapy hot water, and that's gonna help keep it moist so it won't like dry on there. But definitely just spend the time working on getting as much of that paint out because whatever gets left inside of it is gonna make it kind of hard and cr crunchy, and we need to use these tomorrow um, for our front porch. So I'm just gonna wash these with really hot water. When I feel like most of that paint's out, I just grab my dish soap and kind of scrub it like you would your hair, kind of use it like a shampoo, and it gets it nice and clean, and they were ready to go the next day. Okay, this was a little bit later in the evening. We had left to go pick up my print that I had ordered. I just got it from Walgreens because they had a 50% off. It was like for mom. I don't know if it's still good, but you can definitely check that out if you need to use it. And then I'm showing you right here while we were gone, George had destroyed our sofa. I think he got the zoomies while we were gone. We actually looked on our camera in our house the next day and posted it on Instagram. He was literally running laps in there. So that's why that's a mess over there. But I'm gonna go ahead and pop this picture in so you can see what it looks like in the new frame. Once I got that hung, I went ahead and decided just to go ahead and put the sofa back to normal. It never takes long. Um, he'll always knock down a few pillows, but he's never like knocked down the entire sofa that way. I thought it was so funny because when we had left him, we had walked him, fed him, and gave him a bath. So I thought he was going to be exhausted, but he clearly was not. <laughs> 
Okay, so I cleaned up the living room from George. <laughs> he destroyed it while we were gone. Um, but here's our new family photo. It's official because George is in it. <laughs> Sorry, there's a glare, but I think it turned out really well. And I think that coloring looks a lot better with the gold. Obviously, I still don't like this, but I'll keep searching Amazon for something. We had also done a Target like curbside pickup while we were out. And you guys are always asking me how I get my soap bottles clear, um, the container and where I buy them. I just buy any soap. So I really like these free and clear, or I also like Method. We have to be really careful because Savannah has super sensitive skin, but I just peel off the labels of whatever bottle I buy. So I'm not buying any fancy bottle. I'm just buying it and then ripping the label off and they just look so cute sitting out and so much better than with the label. Just call on me. Okay, now we're gonna start working on the front porch. As you can see, the ceiling is brown, just like the back. Um, when we had the house painted and when we were working on it, we just left it. We thought about doing wood. We thought about painting it white, um, but we are loving the blue in the back. So we're gonna go ahead and do that in the front as well, because we loved it so much. So here's a few before clips, just so you can kind of see what it looks like. And then I'll show you what it looks like when we're finished. But we're gonna go ahead and take everything off the porch, just like we did the patio. I don't wanna get blue on it and I don't wanna cover it up when we can just move it. Um, as you can see, I'm in my pajamas. Chase was wanting to start this very early, so I came out there to give him a hand to get everything off the front porch. Okay, if I haven't already said it already, we're on day two. So we finished up the back patio yesterday. You guys saw that. Now Chase is working on the front porch ceiling. Those first clips were like when I first got out of bed, he wanted to start early because it's like super humid here and getting hot. So he's out there while it's still breezy and cool. So I cannot wait to see this porch finish just because it's more decorated and ready to go. Um, I do need to do a power washing out there. So that will be in a future video, but let's get back to painting. Okay, so while Chase is painting, I'm gonna do a little project as well. Before he started, I had him take our numbers down above our door. I've had those up there for a really long time and I loved them until I started YouTube, but it has been so hard when I'm trying to get photos of the porch or I'm trying to show you guys the front porch or if we're out there filming. I don't know, I'm just so sick of like covering them up and blurring them out. I was like, let's just take them down and I'll put them somewhere else. So you're gonna see me like putty in the holes. This is the same process that I do like inside when we're moving pictures around from nails. So I'm just filling in the holes and then I'm gonna sand it once it's dry and then just paint it. So I'm gonna show you real quickly the paint we use. It's the same stuff that we've used on the shed and on the brick of the house. I've used this on my kitchen table on the legs. So we always use pure white. So you can screenshot this again if you wanna save it as a reminder. Um, I love this color, I think it's perfect. So let's go ahead and get this can open and get to painting. Okay, whoever says I'm cleaning a clean house clearly does not have dogs or children or a husband. Because I don't know how you can look at this and say it's clean. I just cleaned a ton of mud off my rug. You can tell right there I missed a spot. I'm going to have to come back. But I think I know who did it. Because there's somebody that's acting very suspicious over here. He's sitting on the rug that we're supposed to clean his paws off with. <laughs> He's been there the whole time. I vacuumed. I've cleaned the rug. 
I think I know who did it. Okay, now I'm gonna take you back outside because Chase is finally finished and he's taking off the tape, which I think is super satisfying. I don't know what it is, but I love watching him take it off. So I always try to film you guys a few clips so you can watch, but we are very happy with how the front and the back turned out. Um, we're almost done with painting the house. Like I mentioned before, he is gonna have to repaint um, the porch in the back or the patio because it needs an extra coat of white paint. But now we're gonna go ahead and put all the furniture back here on the front of the house so we can see how everything looks with it all nice and finished and complete. There's nothing personal in having a little fun. You wait to see if it's worth your while. Oh, oh, oh. So give me, so give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars. Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Just watch me break. Okay, and here's one last final look at how everything turned out. You'll have to let me know down below in the comments section if you like it, and even if you have a blue ceiling on your front porch. I know it's supposed to help with like wasps and bugs, so time will tell. I'll definitely keep you guys updated in future videos just in case you're curious if it works. If not, I think it's just a fun little pop of color up there, which is very unexpected, and that's kind of the way I've been decorating. I like to add a few things in that just don't make sense so I'm just loving it so much so once again thank you for such a fun idea Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you to work on some DIY home projects around your house. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.